Welcome to the first high def episode of Cooking on the Fry. Tonight we have that swashbuckling hero of the deep, swordfish. I've never cooked swordfish, but it looks very much like a steak. How hard could it be? We'll find out. Okay, well here's my swordfish steak out of its package. And I'm learning by trial and error with this new camera I've got, so hopefully this isn't going to be too much of a torture to watch. I'll do my best. But I'm learning as I'm going, and that goes for the sound and for the image as well. Anyway, I'm going to put this steak in the microwave at 20% for two minutes each side while I warm up my iron griddle. Okay, well, this is my Westinghouse iron griddle. And I'm going to turn my burner, uh, my front burner, onto medium. There we go. And so while the swordfish steak is coming up to something like room temperature in the microwave, the iron griddle will be heating up. For seasoning, I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm just going to use salt and pepper, and I'm going to be cooking it with avocado oil, which has a very high smoke point and seems to be very healthy. So here goes. Okay, we're going to get some uh, seasoning on this. So let's see here. First, the avocado oil and then the salt and pepper. Flip it over. Oil. Salt, pepper, there we go, one minimalistly seasoned sword for steak. Okay, let's start cooking. Yep, yep that griddle is pretty hot. I'm going to let it go for... Wow, I don't even know what to do here. I've never done swordfish. Well, how about two minutes, and we'll see what it looks like after two minutes. So here we go. Okay. Back in two minutes. Okay, we're about a minute into this, and I'm just going to turn this down. We'll take it a little lower and a little slower first time through with something I've never cooked. As we can see from the sides here, it it's really just starting to cook through from the bottom. So I'm going to leave it right where it is for another minute. Okay, it's been a full uh, three minutes on this side. Usually you don't use tongs to flip fish, but this is swordfish after all. So here we go. Oh. Okay, this is going to be one of these times I just make it look easy, right? That went well. Could be worse. I'm going to leave that for two minutes and then take the internal temperature. Okay, it's been two minutes on this side. I'm going to put the thermometer in there and let's see what the internal temperature is. I'm going for 145. So we are just not quite making it. One more minute. Okay, it's been another minute. So we're three minutes on each side basically now and let's see what our temperature is. Looking for 145. There we got it. Let's get it out of there.
Let's see if I can do a better job of picking it up this time. There we go, and since it's more like a steak than a fish, at least to me, I'm going to let it rest for five minutes. Okay, moment of truth, let's see what we got. Oh wow, it's juicy. Comes apart easy. Let's see if I can cut into here. And there it is. I'm going to take a taste. Wow, that is really, really good. Swordfish is incredible. I can totally do this again. That was moist, juicy, which I think means the same thing. That was really good. I'm going to go have dinner. Anything I can do, you can do better. Okay, I'm not going to play with the light. Um, but really, this is good. Bye for now.